autonomous mode in three, two, one, go! Our first finals match starts out with a bang. Look at that. Every single red block on their side has been collected. Let's see if they get deposited. Oh, it's looking like it does. Look at that. The entire red side of the field, except for a couple that were dispensed, are gone. We have a little bit of a deliberation going on, but let's take a look at this field state. This is incredible. Look at how empty it is. These teams are masters when it comes to building autonomous programs. All of this was done by the robot self. It was all pre-programmed. The teams did not touch their controller at all. And this is what they accomplished. Now, we also see, though, that Blue has a couple of control zones. They've controlled both of the middle goals and still have a couple blocks on the field elsewhere. It's very, very interesting. We'll have to see how this results. The tensions are high. The teams are sweaty. This is really tense. Whoever wins this match, they don't win the whole thing, but they definitely have an advantage. You have to win two of our three matches today to go home with our trophy. And our lovely banner, as you can see in the center here. Looks like this is going to require... Oh, we have a result. We, the blue has one autonomous. Can you explain why briefly? Uh, so in a recent update to the game manual through the Q&A system, it was specified that during the autonomous period, any violation will result in the autonomous bonus being awarded to the other alliance. Um, although the result of the field may look like it should have gone to the Red Alliance, we did see a violation for the Red Alliance. Um, we did see a hand reached over the field while we were scoring it, so any violation during Autonomous is a loss of the Autonomous bonus, and thus why Blue has received the bonus. All right, thank you for that thorough analysis. All right, let's get right into driver control. In two, and go! All right. So Red may have lost the bonus, but that doesn't mean they're not starting at an advantage with more blocks on the field. They definitely are. Now they control one and almost another one of the long goals. But Blue is playing some serious defense, trying to get them out of the way. One six six one zero A is trying to push through, but it's looking like it's a stalemate between them and one 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 zero one. Meanwhile, on the other long goal, these robots are dancing around, trying their very best to get into that control zone. Red now holds it, but it's close. Blue could take one shove, but Red gets it out of the way, making them receive the uniform bonus so far. If they can keep that up for the next minute, that will be a huge amount of points. They also take control of the top goal here. Now we have a three-way fight against this one long goal, trying to get that red robot out of the way. 6610A has done a nice shove, and they have almost all blue blocks now. Now they have full control over that control zone in the long goal. We're still fighting over this one control goal. Meanwhile, Red still holds control over almost all the other goals. The only exception is the bottom goal, which Blue has a one block advantage. Really close. I know for a fact this is gonna come down to the water. In the last five seconds, something's gonna happen. We just have to wait and see what that will be. To the last 15 seconds, now 10 seconds. 9123X playing some defense. Oh, Blue is able to tie up the top goal, and, and they control the bottom and one of the long goals. Oh, but Red removes that advantage at the last.